Hi, my name's Charlie from Ribcraft. Today we've got an eight meter rescue boat base at Doorknock. Here we have a deep V hull with tough tech kill guard for when they do shallow water rescue. And we've got a Hyplon tube in on the boat. We have a Dodo trailer, which is custom built for easy launch and recovery. Up on the bow, we've got some removable Hyplon bags. If the crew need to deploy, to take with them to the casualty, they can do with the release of these clips here. Like that. And up on the bow here, we've got a nice big area. If we do need to do any helicopter evacuation, it's just a nice space for the winchman to lower himself down and get the casualty off the boat into the helicopter. So in here we have storage locker, uh, fire extinguisher, and points to put your hatch key, which is located in there. And in here you've got all your trips and fuses, so it's easy access. And here additionally, we have four shock and mitigation seats from Almond. On the console we have a Raymarine package, so it's got a radar, FLIR, camera, VHF. We have the low level lighting for nighttime operation and sonar. We have a IWCS system here, which is quite unique to this setup for the lifeboat. When they're operating on a casualty, they still have full access and communication with the crew. And if they need to communicate using the VHF, they can just use the side button here and then they can use the VHF to communicate to the Coast Guard. And additionally to that, we have the communication with the tractor as well for launching and recovery of the boat. And on the antenna there, we've got the long range antenna to maintain communication at all time with the tractor. So on the A-frame here, we've got an incorporated towing spreader bar going across. So when the tow line is towing, it clears the engine. We have a thermal image camera onto the A-frame. We have a twin outboard engine onto this vessel with twin fuel tanks, so it's independent of each system for redundancy. So that's us here at Doorknock with the 8-metre rescue boat. For more information, please visit ribcraft.co.uk.